Hey everybody, this is Nick Shalom, the founder of Assage and former Air Force and Space Force Chief Software Officer. Today we're going to do a deep dive in how to use Assage and Generative AI to accelerate your acquisition processes, particularly when it comes to reviewing and grading RFP responses so you know how to don't select and pick the right companies to do business with. So if you've missed our last video, we did a video uh, with a deep dive on how we use Assage to respond to government RFPs and be able to accelerate our process from a five day on average to 32 minutes. That's a great start, but many teams also are using Assage to write RFPs, but also to use GPT and generative AI to review bids and don't select and pick the right vendors. So how do we do that? How do we think about this? In this use case, we're going to use Tradewinds, the process to go through their marketplace and be able to take our Tradewind Assage video and grade it against the acceptance criteria of don't selection uh, from the trade win team that they created uh, to be able to assess uh, videos and add those companies into their marketplace. So of course, you know, if you just get started and you're looking at doing an RFP, you don't really know yet how you're gonna be uh, don't selecting and defining acceptance criteria for specific work. What you can do is simply describe the work to GPT, go uh, on the prompt and simply uh, maybe copy and paste uh, the RFP or summarize it and then ask how would uh, GPT uh, define acceptance criteria to select the right companies to do this work. So you will be surprised that uh, it's perfectly capable of giving you the right insights to define your own acceptance criteria and be able to uh, measure uh, each of the RFP responses in an unbiased way. Now, recently what we've done is we added uh, uh, OpenAI Whisper, which is a speech-to-text capability. And as you know, Tradewinds use videos to be able to uh, be adding these uh, uh, companies to the marketplace. So we're going to be using uh, the asset video that we did for Tradewinds, and we're on the on Tradewind Marketplace. Uh, and so we, we use the same process to uh, be able to be uh, selected. And we're going to use this video first to extract the text from our video response. So we have the text to then be able to grade it against the uh, Tradewinds acceptance criteria. And so what we find is when you grade your own uh, responses, you now can ask the bot to find pitfalls or uh, mistakes or things to improve to have uh, increased your chances of being done selected for uh, winning a bid. So let's first uh, grab the text from our video. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, ingest our video so we can extract the text using uh, OpenAI Whisper that we host on Azure Government Alpha 5. We're the only one that has this capability today uh, to be able to do speech to text. So uh, first let's get the uh, video here and start ingesting uh, that to get the text. Uh, so then we're gonna be able to analyze it to really uh, be able to grade our own response against the acceptance criteria of uh, Tradewind. All right, so as you can see, uh, Whisper was able to extract the text despite of my French accent. I did a great job extracting all this text from my video. So now we have the text that we'll be able to use in the prompt uh, to be able to now uh, use the acceptance criteria of Tradewinds to grade my own content against the criteria and see what the bot is going to say that uh, either uh, we comply with or we can improve. Uh, so let's take a look. All right, so we wrote this prompt here and I'm going to use uh, GPT-4 and we don't need any data sets here. So we wrote this prompt, uh, Tradewind is a marketplace created by the DOD CDU's office to streamline the adoption of AI products. So giving it a little bit of context, and we say to be accepted, solution must pass the evaluation criteria listed below. Um, 
and then we start you know listing all the criteria and the way we wrote it it would just copy and paste it from the uh, the, the PDF or trade winds we uh, also uh, segmented each of the criteria with their weights and showing what it takes to be either unsatisfactory marginal satisfactory or superior and so for each of the criteria we're listing here all of those uh, acceptance criteria so it goes all the way to technology viability enabling technology technical approaches innovation maturity pitch quality uh, quality and then uh, we copy and paste the video script so I I copy and paste here the text from this uh, speech to text in just here and when the text is over with end of video script and we say review the video script to assess it against each of the trade win evaluation criteria for each evaluation criteria you must respond with either unsatisfactory marginal satisfactory or superior so let's run that all right so a couple of minutes later we got the results so each of the criteria we see the rating and we see the reasoning uh, here effectively because we use as sage to do this to begin with we, we meet all the uh, criteria that's how we uh, wrote the script of this video to begin with so as you can see it was superior for every aspect and the uh, uh, bot is giving us the detailed argument as to why so now you can see that you could use GPT first to create your acceptance criteria. You can then use it to grade different bids you're receiving, maybe using our API or just using the UI here against each of these criteria to see, you know, whether or not the company is meeting the requirements. But then as a company, you can also use the same process to incrementally improve your own responses. So you're now able to get feedback on your response and see what to focus on to improve. There you have it. How to grade an RFP response and how to don't select. Of course, you can also use our Live Plus feature to search information about a company, grab that website and that information from their product pages to see whether or not this aligns with the pitch and with the RFP. Uh, information so again this is just an example just to show you the out of possible it's all about your prompt engineering don't forget to use the prompt engineer persona to help you improve your prompts so you get the results you're looking for sky's the limit when you can train your bar and your data using the ad sage file ingest and ingest pdf excel powerpoint even now video with audio to increase the knowledge of the boss so it can be more factual and use that to go after these outcomes sky is the limit hopefully that's exciting if you have any questions reach out to us sales at assage.ai